Hello and welcome to MacGyver's Grant Public Library's Once Upon a Story Time. This video will also be used in our Your Story Matters writing challenge. This, the book that we're going to read today is called Nothing We About Me, A Magical Adventure by Kim Chaffee. It's illustrated by Laura B Babisi. Babisi. <laughs> this book was published by Page Street Kids. Nothing We About Me. It was finally Sunday again, and Liesl had one thing on her mind. Adventure. That looks like a very nice place to go and have an adventure, doesn't it? Let's look at that picture very closely. Looks like somebody's greeting them at the house. Looks like they're dressed for adventure. Oh, wow. Looks like they're by the ocean, doesn't it? Or a lake. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Liesl rushed through Grandma Rose's front door and into the kitchen. She shoved aside the spoons and the spatulas and hurled the wire whisk. Looking for this, asked Grandma Rose. Yes, cheered Liesl. Dear Liesl, you're just like me when I was a wee girl. What is Grandma Rose holding in her hand? It's a ladle, a ladle isn't it, for soup. Look at the wire whisk flying through the air. You know there's nothing we about me, right, Grandma? Of course not, dear Liesl. Of course not. Is there anything we about you? Now, just a word of warning. This old ladle doesn't work as well as it used to. Don't worry, Grandma. It always works perfectly for me. Glad to hear it, dear. Now, how about a hug before you rush off to your next adventure and be back in time for Sunday soup? Liesl wrapped Grandma Rose in the biggest squeeze. I promise. She's getting her grandma's ladle. They might need it for soup later. Pointing the ladle toward the sky, she took a deep breath and made her wish. What would you wish for? These pages are sticking together today. When Liesl opened her eyes, she was deep in the ocean. She aimed her ladle scope at an island ahead and spotted a giant volcano. It shuddered and sputtered, it rumbled and boomed. It was going to blow, but no one on the island seemed to notice. There's Liesl underwater in her submarine. Do you see her ladle scope up at the top? Oh, can you see the smoke coming out of that volcano right behind that kingdom with the, the castle? I must warn the villagers. She steered her submarine toward land and sped ahead. Liesl scurried across the sand toward town. Not so fast, wee girl, a pirate sneered. This here island belongs to me. Ooh, that looks like a scary pirate. The captain insisted, Liesl, that volcano's going to blow and destroy the whole island, and there's nothing we about me. She jabbed her ladle hook at the pirate. Let me pass you, Scalawag, or prepare for a swashbuckling battle. You're a brave buccaneer, cried the pirate, shocked by Liesl's courage. He turned on his heels and retreated across the beach. There's nothing we about Liesl, is there? Liesl ran through the village, knocking on every door. Bang, 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 the lava is coming, the lava is coming. Bang, 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 get to the rescue boat. Bang, 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 open up, open up. The door creaked and Liesl looked up. Oh, now she's, now she is banging on the castle door. Can you see something up in the top of the picture? Can you see something up there that might show you what she might see when she looks up? Way, way, way up. <gasps> what is up there? Oh my goodness. Can you see who's in the room up there? Uh-oh. Go away, wee girl, the dragon roared, or join the prince as a prisoner in my castle. Not a chance, dragon, snapped Liesl. There won't be a castle once that volcano goes kablooey. 
and there's nothing we about me. Liesel sliced her ladle sword at the dragon. Let the prince go, you fire-breathing bully, or I'll, or it'll be you who gets roasted. Ah, a mighty knight, cried the dragon, startled by Liesel's boldness. He released his prisoner and shrank back into the castle. Was she scared by the big old dragon? There's the prince coming out of the castle with the turtle. There's a turtle with him. Laza oozed from the volcano. Coconuts tumbled from the trees. Time was running out. They'd never make it to the rescue boat now. Liesel needed a new plan. Pointing the ladle towards the sky, she took a deep breath and made her wish. Look at that. There's some of the animals that are leaving. It looks like the bunny's packed. That is not a campfire, Liesel shouted at the ladle. And this is no time for s'mores. Actually, I could use a snack, said the prince. Look at that. That's a big marshmallow, isn't it? Boom, rumble, crack. The prince winced. Never mind, I can wait. Liesel tried again. You think it'll work this time? A plunger, Liesel grumbled. How is this supposed to stop the volcano from exploding? The prince blushed. Um, I have to go to the bathroom. You should have gone before we left the castle, Liesel scolded. Boom, rumble, crack. She shook the ladle and tried again. Oh no, Grandma Rose was right. This thing is busted. I think it might be listening to the prince. Liesel tried one last time. Oh my, look, she's trying, and what is the prince doing? He is crossing his fingers. Fishing, the prince peeped. Now? Yes, Liesel cheered. Boom, rumble, crack. She hooked the largest coconut she could find and cast her line higher and farther than ever before. The prince was not convinced. I can't watch. You think it'll work? Let's see if it works. Yippee! Yahoo! Hooray! Everyone danced and cheered. Liesel wished she could stay, but Grandma Rose was waiting. Look, there's, there's a big coconut in the top of the volcano. And there's everybody cheering and dancing and wanting to celebrate. Tilting her bowl, Liesel slurped every last sip. Grandma Rose served up another helping. I've never seen you eat so much Sunday soup, dear. That must have been some adventure today. The best one yet, Liesel said between spoonfuls. I hope it wasn't too dangerous, Grandma Rose said, worried. Liesel stopped eating and stood up. Look, her brother's eating too. The prince took his crown off while he was eating, but he left his cape on. Oh, it's a bib now. Let's see what she does when she stands up. Nothing this wee girl couldn't handle, she said. And that's the end of that book. What would you do if you had a magic ladle? That is our craft this week, our activity kit. We have a piece of paper here, a writing prompt. It says, There's Nothing We About Me by Kim Chaffee. Where will your magic ladle take you? Write a story and tell us your adventure. So this will be in the bin in front of the Kids Zone entrance, in front of the castle display. You can pick it up and you can write a story. You can also go online to um, www.mcgyversgrantpubliclibrary.org, go to our summer reading page, click the Read Squared button, and it'll take you to the Read Squared at, um, MacGyver's Grant page, and on our Your Story Matters writing challenge, you can you can also download this this piece of paper, this um, printable, and you can tell us about your about where your label will take us, and you can earn a point towards your badge. All right, we will see you next week. You have a wonderful week, and make sure that you go on plenty of, of adventures with your magic ladle. <laughs>